Have some questions about annual enrollment? Franciscan Insurance Services is here to help you. In this presentation, I will discuss how to review and enroll in plans online. Looking for an online option to find available plans and review them on your own? Visit our Franciscan Insurance Services webpage on the Franciscan Health website. Here you can find an overview of our services and how we can help you if you would like. You can also review and enroll plans using our link on the web page. In this link, you can look up doctors, hospitals, medicine costs. You can also put in some health information if you'd like to help you evaluate the plans and find the plan that fits your needs. If for some reason you have any issues or questions while you're in this process, you can always contact Franciscan Insurance Services for assistance. Once you've clicked the link into the Your Medicare website provided by Franciscan Insurance Services, there are two ways that you can find a plan. The first option is to have the website help you find a plan. It'll take you through the website with step-by-step -step directions. That way, it can assist you in what's coming next, where you would input your medicines, doctors, or any other health information. Some of these steps, should you not want to input them, you can always skip, so you do not have to input all the information requested. The second option would be to do it on your own. Just simply enter your zip code and it'll take you to all the plans available in your area. You can look through the plans. There's still an option to insert medicines, doctors, any other information you'd like to insert to help you evaluate the plans. But this is not a step with step-by-step -step directions. You would just filter through it on your own. It's important to know that when it's helping you find plans, it's filtering the plans based off your zip code. Plans are offered per zip code, so they can vary from one zip code to another zip code. So please be sure to include your zip code so that you can find the plans offered to you. Once you've entered your zip code, the system will then ask you to create a medicine list. The first step in creating a medicine list is identifying the three boxes in the screen. In those three boxes, you will want to enter the first three letters of your prescription name. For example, if you take gabapentin, you will put a G in the first box, an A in the second box, and a B in the third box. At that point, it will bring up a list of prescriptions that start with G, A, B, and you will choose gabapentin. Then you will want to choose the dosage and the frequency. So if you take just one gabapentin per day, then you will put 30 for 30 days. But if you take two, then you will put 60 for 30 days. If you take your prescriptions on a 90 day period, then you would put 90 for 90 days, or if you take two, 180 for 90 days, and so on. You will want to continue to do this for each and every medicine. So once you've put one medicine in, click add the drug, and then you will do it for the next medicine until your whole list is in the system. At that point, you will want to click the next box to move to the next step. Once you've completed your medicine list, the next step will be inputting your doctor list. If you have multiple doctors, that's no problem. You will just want to do this one doctor at a time. For example, say you have Dr. Smith. Okay, For Dr. Smith, you are going to input the city or the zip code that his office is located in. So you can click on the city in the part above the zip code area, or you can just simply enter the zip code. Once you've entered their location, you will hit continue, and then there will be an option to type in your doctor's last name. You can type in Smith as the last name, and it will populate doctors with the last name Smith. Once you have 
completed that step, then you will hit next. You will want to do this for all of your doctors. If their doctors are in different cities or zip codes, that's no problem. Since you are doing this one doctor at a time, you'll have the opportunity every time to enter the city in the zip code and the doctor's last name. When you have completed the input of all your doctors, then you will want to click next to go to the next step. After completing the doctor list, you can then answer some questions about your medical need. The questions might ask how often you go to the doctor. So you could put rarely, occasionally, frequently. It also has other descriptions in there as to how many emergency room visits you might have throughout the year, or urgent care visits, or inpatient visits, different things like that. There's a description below each type that can help you choose what describes you. So you could put rarely, occasionally, or frequently. You also have the option just to skip this step. So down in the bottom right hand corner, you can either skip it, or if you do choose an option, just hit next. The next step will be to choose a pharmacy that you prefer. So you will need to enter your zip code again that the pharmacy you would like to go to is in. You will also need to choose the pharmacy. So do you go to CVS, Kroger, Walgreens, Walmart, or any other pharmacy that might be in your zip code. From there, once you have chosen a pharmacy, just click the next button. If you would like, it also gives you the option to choose your current plan so that you can have that plan be at the top when comparing other plans. This will allow you to compare your current plan with maybe some of the other plans that the system is suggesting. Once you have inputted the information requested by the system, the next step is to review the available plans and enroll in the plan if you'd like. Here's how you choose the type of plans that you would like to compare. First, you can filter by company, premium, doctors, policy type, or whether you would like a deductible or not. Then you can choose the type of plan you want to compare, whether it's a Medicare Advantage plan that includes the prescription, whether it's just a Medicare Advantage plan without prescription, or if it's a Medicare prescription drug plan. You may have already entered your medicines and doctors, but if you haven't, there's an option at the top of the screen to add that information. Maybe you realized you forgot a medicine. You can also use that option at the top of the screen to edit your medications, your doctor's list, or maybe some health concerns that you realized you may need to include. If you have inputted your doctors, your medicines, then the system will help you filter through the plans based on your expected out-of-pocket costs. If you have not entered them, then it will filter the plans based on premium. Once you have decided what plans you'd like to compare, then just check the box that says compare right under the name of the carrier. Once you have checked those boxes, at the bottom of the screen, you can click compare plans. Once you have chosen the plans to compare, it will bring up a screen that shows the three plans side by side. Select benefit details and you will get the information like premiums, deductibles, co-pays, and just scroll through to see the general information about the plan. If you are looking at Medicare Advantage plans, you can continue to scroll and see the co-pays for the different services provided and covered by that plan. If you're looking at prescription drug plans, you can see pharmacy, whether it's in or out of network with the plans you are looking at, but you can also see the cost of medicines on different tiers. Once you have reviewed the benefit costs, you will next want to review your prescription drug costs. So choose the tab that says drug cost details. 
This will allow you to scroll through and compare if there's any added premiums for the prescription plan or for the prescription plan to be included in the Medicare Advantage plan, but you'll also be able to review and compare deductibles and co-pays on the plans. As you scroll through this option, you will see month-to-month -month costs or if you input your medicines for a 90-day refill, then you will be able to see your costs for 90 days. Should you find a plan that you would like to enroll in, then all you need to do is just click the enroll button for that plan. It is important to make sure you are clicking the enroll button for the specific plan of your choice and not just any plan. As you can see, there are green enroll buttons here underneath the plans if you are doing the comparison, or to the right shows a picture of the main page should you choose the enroll button from the main page. This will take you through an easy step process to fill out your information and complete the enrollment for the plan of your choice. Should you have any questions, Throughout any step of this process, do not hesitate to contact your local office. If you dial our 1-877-883-6457 number, that will take you to a line where you can choose the office nearest you to speak with a local Franciscan health insurance agent. Also, if you are in the your Medicare website completing any step of the process, you will see an option at the top right hand corner of the screen that also gives this number to speak with a licensed insurance agent from Franciscan Insurance Services.